Hello, I'm coming to you from my street, as you can see. I'll tell you why in a moment. But first of all, let me tell you about the Novena. Uh, Novena is the time between uh, the Ascension of our Lord, which um, is on Thursday evening, and uh, Pentecost. And there are nine days in between Ascension and Pentecost. And those nine days are from the very earliest times, traditionally a time of prayer, um, preparation, uh, sharing bread together. Um, right from the very earliest times when we hear about the disciples, after they see the Lord ascend to the Father, and the Father says, um, I'm going to send you an advocate, the Spirit will come. They go up into, the, into their upper room, where they meet together and they stay in prayer until such time as Pentecost Day when the Holy Spirit comes and they don't know what's going to happen to them in those early days. So they're there praying for the Advocate to come, for the Kingdom to come. And that's something that we as Christians have done since those earliest times. Keep the, these nine days for prayer and preparation. In recent years, the church across the world has taken thy kingdom come as their way of expressing those nine days and uh, since the internet has become such a big thing uh, we can see across the world Christians praying together and so it's become an even bigger thing of us joining together as Christians around the world and of course the one thing that really unites us Christians all around the world is the Lord's Prayer. You know, we may differ in our doctrine, in our liturgy, in the way we practice our Christianity, but the one thing we all agree on is the Lord's Prayer. And so it's that prayer that we pray most particularly at this time of year. Now, the reason I'm in my street is because we are to pray, Thy kingdom come for everyone on this planet for the whole world wide we pray that the spirit comes and god's kingdom comes to this world and so many of us are have been stuck inside or we we are stuck <laughs> in our local area excuse me and um, we're doing a lot more walking i don't know about you but if you've been out walking you've seen a lot more people out walking than um, we used to see and that's great for our fitness and for our mental health um, but it's also great for prayer because that's something that we can now do. We can't get out very far, but we can be in our local area. And as we're walking, walking past houses, past schools, maybe as a car passes or an ambulance, um, we can pray for those people in those houses. We can pray for their health and their well-being in these difficult times of this virus being around all the time. But we can also pray for the Spirit, for the Spirit to come. For them to know God's grace and God's love in their hearts. And we are seeing this around the world as many, many more people are turning to prayer. So I'm here to ask you in these nine days, when you're out walking or if you are confined to your home, as you look out of your window, pray for what you see. Pray for the people you pass, the homes you pass, the schools, the doctor's surgery, whatever it is. Pray as you go by that the kingdom may come in that place and those people may know God's grace. So as I continue my walk this morning, I will be praying for my street here as I pass by. I hope that you will be joining me in whatever location you're in for praying for those people too. And now I'm going to pass over to a brother or sister in Christ from somewhere else in the world and they are going to pray in their own language the Lord's Prayer for us. May the Lord keep you and bless you. Amen. Padre nuestro que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre. Venganos tu reino, hágase tu voluntad, 
como en el cielo, así también en la tierra. El pan nuestro de cada día, danoslo hoy, y perdónanos nuestras deudas, así como nosotros perdonamos a nuestros deudores. Y no nos dejes caer en tentación, mas líbranos del mal, porque tuyo es el reino, y el poder, y la gloria, por todos los siglos. Amén.